In this video, you're going to learn what is the team poster play, the pre-work necessary to run the play, guidance and tips on how to facilitate the play, and how you should follow up after running the play. Teams are often busy working on tasks and get stuff done. But does everyone on the team know why they are doing all these tasks? So let me introduce you to Atlassian's team poster play. You may ask now, what's a team poster? Of course, it's not a poster of your favorite soccer or football team. The team poster is actually a poster about your work team. And yes, it can have pictures of your team members. But it's mostly about getting a common understanding why and what you're doing to, together. Also, it's not really a poster, it's more a document that you actually can share with others. Run this play to get your team on the same page on what you want to achieve together and create a shared direction for where the team is going. It gives your team more clarity on the direction and gives every team member the opportunity to build a common team purpose together. A shared understanding is important to move work forward and trying to get clarity on your goals without having this discussion over and over and over again. The team poster explains new team members or people from other teams the purpose of your team. Instead of telling the story multiple times, just point them to the team poster. It also works great as a reminder for your team to look at it from time to time and adjust the direction. The team poster should be a living document. Your team members might change, your goals might shift, you need to adjust your customer direction. Do it immediately and don't wait until you rerun this play. By the way, if you're running a project with specific goals and measurements, maybe even across multiple teams, there's another play for that. It's a project poster and you can also find it in the Atlassian team playbook. You can run the team poster play when you form a brand new team or also when you're already in established teams working together for years. Run this play, especially when your team struggles with a shared understanding on the direction you're going, the customers you're serving, or the goals you're tracking. The team poster will help to get on the same page and move in the same direction as a team. And here's a tip. If you want to add additional information for each team member on the team poster, I can recommend the play My User Manual. It's a play to get to know your team members better and dive deeper into each team member's experiences and preferences. Let's say you form a new team and trying to find a common understanding of your work. When you invite your team to the team poster session, please share with them the template that you'll be filling out when running this play. For this, we've created a Confluence template. To use it, simply click on the link below, which will take you to the team poster play webpage. You can also follow along on that page, the step-by-step -step details. Ask your team members to add their name and their photo to the team poster page in the meet the team section of the team poster. Explain to them the goals of the play. Setting the context is important so everyone knows what to expect from the session. You can either run this play in person or as a fully remote team. When running it remotely, please make sure you use a digital collaboration tool to capture the findings and agreements and so that everyone can follow the updates live. When run this play in person, have some posted papers and a whiteboard ready for collaboration. Now, when you come together as a team, you will start with discussing your team's purpose and how it fits into the broader company vision. This is an important exercise Everything your team does should relate to that purpose. Up next, you'll be discussing the problems you're trying to solve. Surprisingly, this is often unclear for a lot of teams. We often talk about things we need to do, but don't spend a lot of time asking ourselves the questions, what is really the problem we're trying to solve here? This leads into discussions about who your customers are and how you measure success. What are the metrics you are tracking or better, uh, what metrics should you be tracking? This should always be tied to the problem you're trying to solve. After that, you'll talk about your current offerings and your strategic directions. At the end, you'll document how other teams can get in contact with you or work with you. Some teams prefer a specific chat channel and others have a ticketing system. As I said, the team posts a play on our webpage has step-by-step -step details, instructions, and goes far more into details. 
Run this play at least every three months. Priorities shift, team members change, strategies evolve. You want to have always an updated version of your team poster ready. So why should you create a team poster? It's about a shared understanding on what you're doing together and a common direction where your team is going. After running this play, I hope all team members are on the same page. Thank you.